Today I wanted to show you uh, how I uh, paint uh, leather, uh, worn leather um, belts and uh, satchels. Uh, also, um, this will be uh, a leather that is war um, soft, not uh, not shiny, but it's uh, soft and uh, worn. So here we have the colors that I usually use for such things. Um, so the, the base color, the darkest color, would be Rhinox Hide but I add uh, a little navy blue to it to add even more depth because it's not that dark uh, and uh, also I have just brown leather because it's a little brighter and uh, less, uh, less um, saturated maybe to uh, red um, then for highlights I use Morphan brown, brown, Iroko and Beach from Scale <clears throat> Those two colors uh, maybe aren't the color of uh, leather that is uh, uh, that is very present, um, but I use them only for uh, the marks of uh, um, uh, the leather being worn. Uh, some places that it's torn may be broken, so you can see the inside of the leather element that isn't colored. And uh, for this, uh, the color Iroko is very important, uh, so it looks very natural. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so here we have our, our Space Marine that we painted earlier. And I wanted to show you how to paint his uh, um, bolt pistol holster. Uh, using the earlier technique that I showed you, uh, we'll make it uh, uh, that uh, the holster is, has scratches, uh, worn marks, uh, and uh, is generally used and destroyed. Uh, so. So I want to show you how I paint uh, the I worn uh, leather effect on his uh, gun holster. Uh, so looking at him from this side, uh, we can see uh, the main light source that we uh, sketched earlier. So, <coughs> and you can see the sketch here on the armor. So um, we can see that um, there will be light on this place, on, on this uh, part, and also here, and it will come from this side from above. So the upper part of the holster will be generally brighter and here and uh, the lower it gets it will be darker so we, uh, we will add shadows. I've uh, base coated uh, the whole holster with uh, Rhinox height so it's uh, now it's a dark brown color so we can add a little more shadow <coughs> in the places that we want to so using the um, mixture of Rhinox height and uh, navy blue we can add some darker lines like here just to mark the place that uh, the armor is com is, uh, is touching the holster also in this place and in this recess just to add more depth and shadow also we can add a little more shadow darker color to the end of the holster yeah here and you can do it with <coughs> dots maybe or glazing yeah so it will, it, this will generate more contrast later on so now we can start highlighting <coughs> of course we can make a sketch but it's a small surface uh, so most of the time it's not that needed uh, so we can just start highlighting and also brown colors uh, cover w very well on, on dark surfaces. So now just let's focus on highlighting this uh, part a little and uh, maybe this edge. As normally uh, just with the side of the brush on larger surfaces. And here, and also the edge highlights. So you can see that I'm covering less and less uh, surface with each uh, tone that is brighter. But we want to focus on this edge highlights to, to leave it a little. Even on the bottom, we can add some 
scratches maybe that are darker but they will be visible compared to the <coughs> darker stone that we placed there earlier <coughs> so yeah just do it uh, a little at, ramb at random as earlier we added some uh, lines some scratches and the surface uh, the more you um, random uh, patterns you will add they, the more they will they will overlap uh, at the end and regenerate a uh, richer surface so let's add more highlight Okay, so starting from the next uh, highlight, we'll start adding more scratches, more dots, especially on the edges, just to mark more uh, signs of the material being worn. So you can see that I'm adding it with small lines, uh, dots, as we've done earlier. It's very important uh, to understand that this holster will be worn probably the most on this line because it's more prone to being uh, scratched by his maybe uh, movement of his arms. Uh, and also, especially here, here where, when, where um, it's a place when uh, the bolt pistol will touch uh, and maybe when um, being holstered it will wear the surface. So try to do it uh, in a logical way, uh, then it will be more be believable. So you can see the small scratches, uh, dots with the tip of the brush. Maybe a little here. Yeah, and let's go to the brighter tones. So you can see that it's, it's a f moderately fast process just uh, we just need a good base that is mostly smooth and then we add only uh, signs of the material being worn Okay, and as I mentioned earlier, we wanted to focus on this place because here there will be more light. And try using the um, final highlight as uh, to uh, accent maybe some parts that you've uh, generated maybe lines earlier, just to um, add more depth depth to all the signs of being of the material being worn. So you can of course spread uh, those dots a little, but try to overlap the earlier ones. Uh, maybe use the earlier ones and. Uh, uh, make the scratches even more visible, stronger. Yeah. Okay, and this is that's, that's, this is it for this side. We of course can um, maybe, if you think you've overdone it, um, you can go back a few shades to, to some base colors 
uh, to some um, and some maybe cover with a thin layer uh, just to uh, go back with the base color of the leather. As I mentioned it earlier, it's not uh, it's important to not to overdo it. We also can uh, deepen the sh deepen the shadows on the bottom just with dots. And the next thing is that uh, we can also highlight this part a little because it will catch a little more light because it's an edge, but uh, it won't catch that much light as as the edges that are very uh, prolonged uh, to uh, prone to uh, to catch light. So a little on the bottom, maybe moderately bright just to the base tone but you can see the edge generally you can edge highlight everything but it's very important to uh, when making uh, edge highlights it's very important to um, add uh, more light more shadow to them because not everywhere they will be so bright mm, somewhere there's, there are some places that the edge highlights won't be that bright it will be they will be dark okay you can even add a uh, the line here just to okay so we can see them this side is finished now let's go to this side yeah because this does this is our second view uh, here we can see um, the back of the armor and the light situation is a little different so <coughs> now we want to generate more shadow here on this part and here on the bottom and also here and here there will be more light to in this direction and on this especially on those edges so we want to add it so now let's start as earlier let's start adding shadows You can even go higher with them because uh, they will generate a dark outline when looking from uh, the back on the miniature. Also there will be more shadow under his uh, arm, so we can add it here. And here in the middle. Also here on the line combining uh, the elements it's important to um, combine all the elements on a miniature with dark lines but i don't use uh, black for it because for me it generates uh, a feeling of uh, a comic book and we want to combine uh, i want to combine the elements with uh, um, colors that are uh, similar with the elements so here on this miniature it would be most of the time it would be additions of blue just to darken the miniature but you can see he, he, he has a blue armor the general vibe of the miniature would be in blue tones uh, because the armor is a very prominent piece so if we would uh, every element that we are painting if we would add um, a, a little blue to the deepest shadow here we have brown but adding blue will generate the feeling that uh, those elements will combine more naturally and the shadow will be more believable, not that uh, black. Uh, most of the time um, black is a uh, color that is, uh, doesn't have, have uh, isn't warm and isn't uh, cold. So we want to, um, even to black, we want to add some other colors just to give it a temperature. Uh, so it won't be a uh, hole in the miniature. Okay, so now we have the uh, deep shadow. And now we can only highlight as earlier. So we can see on smaller surfaces it's doable, it works. On bigger surfaces it's better to uh, make a light sketch. Uh, so you can highlight more easily and uh, achieve stronger contrast. Yeah, 
and then also the outline here it's very important because here also the, it's a surface that is very uh, it can be destroyed easily because of the opening of the holster by hands Also, you can see that uh, the holster has uh, it's a little soft, so it has uh, some shadows here, two of them. We can uh, use this. They are not visible now, but uh, we can add uh, highlights so that they will be uh, they will start to be visible. So let's do it. Even. There are places on miniatures that are, um, have, are totally flat, but we can add uh, a natural feeling of faults uh, to it to add more det detail and change the appearance of the um, surface. I do this uh, sometimes. I do, I do this when painting uh, skin tones. I add uh, wrink wrinkles, uh, skin faults. Especially on places where the uh, arms uh, bend. Also on materials. Sometimes materials are sculpted for in a very, uh, a very basic way. So we can add some de details to them. So you can see that I'm com I'm focusing on this ridge here and here, just to add more detail. And you can see the shadows that are beginning to be visible. Also at this point we can add some scratches, maybe some uh, random patterns, just to add more depth, just to add more detail. As I mentioned it earlier, we want to focus on this, this edge. As earlier on the other side we can make a little edge highlight on the bottom, but don't overdo it. We don't want it to be that bright. And now let's highlight it even more. Also the one thing that I um, maybe discovered uh, some time ago, um, as I mentioned, it, uh, uh, now I only use uh, bigger brushes for uh, bigger surfaces because they cover larger surfaces easily, but smaller brushes um, have a sharper tip. Even if the big brush has a sharp tip, it holds a lot of paint uh, in it and uh, a lot of water. So. Most of the time I w wasn't able to achieve a uh, very sharp surface, uh, sharp details with a big brush. And now most of the time such small things uh, I'm painting only with a zero zero brush. It's very easy to generate dots and scratches with this one. So you can see them, I'm adding some brighter highlights, so they will be even more visible now. Hmm. You can add some random things. Maybe this one is too big, so we can go back a little and cover it with a darker tone, so it won't be that visible. You can always go back and fix things.
Add more dots. Okay. So we are focusing on the edge. Here there will be more more light. The surface will be more uh, will show uh, more uh, wear and tear. Some small scratches. Maybe some dots here and there. So you can see that the only thing that it's left, uh, we should add uh, two final highlights. Uh, so let's focus only on this place and maybe here. Uh, so with this color, it's uh, um, a mix of uh, Beach and Iroko. We can add a little highlight. So. You can see that it's getting stronger just here. Also we can add additional dots as we've done earlier. Maybe some places that are worn. Also as, as on an earlier example you can see that uh, the contrast uh, on those elements is very big but you can see that it's um, you can see the uh, torn inside of the skin and the final highlight with birch only on the on this edge here there will be a lot of light reflected and that's it so you can see that <coughs> we have more shadow in this part and more highlight in this. But looking at him from the back side, you will see that uh, most of, uh, of the holster is visible here. And uh, with this dark line, we generate the shadow coming from his hand and also uh, a dark out outline that gives us contrast. Uh, if you would, uh, if you would uh, paint all those elements brighter, then those elements won't won't be shining that much. Uh, if you want, we can of, of course add some scratches here to fill the surface, uh, that it won't be that um, that dark and empty. But uh, I would suggest only doing it to maybe this color, not further, because. And then it will lessen the, con the big contrast that we have now. So we can add some little dots and scratches here and there, maybe close to the edge, just to add a little de detail. Maybe we don't want the surface to be that uh, empty. But all in all, this is sufficient. And uh, the same we can replicate on those uh, and those pouches. Just think about the outline of uh, uh, those pouches because uh, there will be more places that are uh, prone to being worn. And uh, in the middle, the skin can have dots and scratches, but that's all. So thank you for your attention and have fun experimenting with this technique.